This is going to be a video to do with lithium iron phosphate batteries. This is going to be the beginner's guide for people that are thinking about buying batteries or already have just purchased batteries. It's going to be kind of a, an introductory to uh, lithium iron phosphate batteries. I, I like to make it as short as I can, so I'll just go through it. Um, there's multiple reasons why you may be thinking about buying these batteries. My, my case is I want to have battery backup in order to have voltage to look after my fridge or freezer. Now, when I was first thinking about that, I purchased this unit here, which is a portable power station. Now, it says 2400 watts, but the actual capacity of it is, uh, I think, 2000 watt hours. So, in other words, if you run a load, as in, say, that heater, that's you can set it for 500 watts. If you ran that heater, you could run it for four hours at 500 watts will be the equivalent to 2,000 watt hours. So that's the easiest way to explain that. If it was just a constant load of 500 watts, this would look after it for roughly four hours. Okay, so what I have here is my battery setup. I have four batteries underneath here, 400 amp hour batteries. I have the positives of the batteries all going here, and I have breakers on them. I believe you should be able to isolate your break your batteries. That way there, if you're working on the system down line, you can just turn off the pauses, which isolate the battery. Okay, enough said about that. So, when you get your batteries, you're going to have to charge them. So, you want to make sure you have a good charger. You should have a charger that is made for lithium ion batteries. It doesn't have to be this charger, it can be any charger at all, but you should have a charger that is rated for these batteries because they need constant voltage and constant current and they need where is it? Okay, it's right here. they need 14.6 volts a constant voltage of 14.6 and a constant current now I'll have to go into different videos on charging batteries and discharging batteries but what I'll say is that when you first get a battery, you need to equalize the cells. So you need to charge your battery up to 100%, and the battery has to get up to 14.6, and your battery management system in the battery should shut it down after it's fully charged. Now, There's other terms here that I'll go into on a, another video about the bulk of the charge, the absorption, the float, and again, like I said, you need to equalize out your, your cells. There's four cells in your 12 volt battery. Each cell is roughly, if fully charged, is up to 13.6 volts. Now, 
Like I say, you need to charge your battery up to full voltage. That'll equalize out your cells. And when discharging, you definitely don't want to go down below 12 volts. Because 12 volts is 3 volts on each cell. You don't want to go down below that. Because there is a, a drastic discharge curve. Not sure which. Okay, this, this does show it. There's a drastic discharge curve. Ah, discharge curve. And I do mean drastic. When it hits about here, which is 12 volts, it'll drop off very quickly. And if you still have a load on it, it'll drop right off in no time. And this part right here will damage your batteries. So you have to be cautious of that. So, I don't want to make this too long. This is just an introductory. The main thing is, if you buy a battery, you, not, you need to purchase the right charger. And you need to charge your batteries up to 100% in order to equalize out the four cells that are in that battery. I will be talking about different things in different videos coming up. I'll be talking about state of charge. I'll be going over my system. I'll be going over the battery meters. I'll be going over discharge rates and all that stuff. So if you're interested in that, please subscribe and like the video and we'll go from there. I'll make different videos to do with the state of charge, constant current, the capacity of the battery. Uh, there's, there's lots of things that I've been learning and, I, and I, I want to do videos in order for me that I can just go back to the video and, and if I can't remember something, I'll just watch the video again. Cheers.